Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you uh, the easy way to share information with the brand new Demon Saw 3.0, which is the successor to Demon Saw 2.7.2. So what is uh, Demon Saw? Well, it's a secure and anonymous information sharing application that makes security simple and gives you back control of your data. You can chat, message, and share files without fear or consequence. Host your own private router, uh, and I'm going to get back to this in a little couple of minutes. Or join public networks like Demon Bucket on the 2.7.2 version, or the uh, DemonSaw.com router on the 3.0 version. There are other networks available, but I'm not going to get into this right now. Uh, <clears throat> fed up with diminishing privacy rights, Demon Saw is 100% CISA proof. Demon Saw uses multiple layer of asymmetric and symmetric encryption. All keys are created at runtime and never shared. Social crypto makes security easy by leveraging shared knowledge, website and files, to derive strong encryption keys. Trust yourself and to hell with the rest. So you see here, there's a there's a new a, a theme that was uh, made for the the uh, 2.7.2 version. So some of the members are, are tweaking the CSS to make different themes. Uh, <clears throat> it's anonymous. There's no login, no passwords, and no registrations. Uh, it's fully decentralized, mesh-based network that doesn't use peer-to-peer. -peer. So your IP address is safe. It won't show up anywhere. Nobody can see your IP. Uh, Demon Saw looks like normal web traffic. You can use it uh, anywhere without being blocked or monitored by anyone. Government corp uh, governments, corporations, and ISPs will never know that you're communicating or sharing. Uh, it's free. Um, there's no ads, no installs, no malware, no honeypots, no bundle software, no logging, no traf no tracking, no lies, and no bullshit. It's fully self-funded by its founder. You're free to express yourself. Uh, Demon Saw is available in 32 and 64-bit versions. Um, run Demon Saw clients and routers in a graphical or command line interface. Uh, so for those who uh, are a little more advanced and want, uh, want to run their own routers, you can go to the website uh, docs.demonsaw.com and there's uh you know explanations here on how to set it up how to set up your own router uh, so create your own private groups um, okay i'm going to go to the download section here so i'm on a 64-bit system here and uh i'm running linux uh mint 18 so as you can see, there's different operating systems available here. If I want the 3.0 version, I have to go to the Debian uh, version here because uh, Mint is derived from Debian, so is Ubuntu. So if I want the 3.0 version I and 64-bit, I have to download this one here. So I'm going to download and save the file. I'm going to go to my downloads now and I see my folder uh, my downloads right here I'm gonna extract there we go okay so there's a, th a theme folder and a demon saw uh, run here you just run it and it's gonna open so the theme here it's a CSS so some of the members are doing different themes so they change the CSS change the colors and put a background or whatever so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to cre uh, create a client. There we go. Next. So I'm going to put my uh, handle here, Tech Lords. The public router here is router.demonsaw.com on port 443. Done. Okay, it's open. And now you see there's uh, there's some people present right now. But we can't see right now who who's sharing what. So to see that, we just click here, 
and it's going to show you the members on, in this column that are sharing stuff. There's less people sharing stuff. My name doesn't appear yet because I didn't add anything to uh, share. So to add something to share, I click on the share icon here. And I'm going to click on the plus to add a folder. So my shared folder is in my home directory. I'm going to click on it. Choose. And what I'm sharing right now is a Bitcoin Bash script. So you can download this with the instructions on how to run the script. So that script uh, gives the price of Bitcoin in real time and it refreshes every five seconds without going back to prompt and it, it comes out in three different currency uh, US, the British pound and the euro. Okay uh, so I'm gonna this is the update or refresh button and unfortunately right now uh, when you refresh here and here uh, I don't appear yet so what I do is I just close the application and reopen it and I should appear now there we go so I'm in the uh, section where people share stuff and my folder is right there there will be an update this coming Friday so in two days time uh, that will allow to download entire folders instead of individual files uh, that function was uh, available in the version 2.7.2 but uh, not available in the 3.0 but it will be available in the 3.0.1 this coming Friday hopefully um, okay so this is a an, an overview very quick overview uh, you just uh, as a side note here there's a public chat you can chat here uh, publicly so this is not encrypted uh, there we go <laughs> Blade Runner says hello there <laughs> so I said hey okay so it's just to show you how this works and uh, once you you know you get your way around around this application it's quite easy make sure to check for the new version of 3.0.1 which should, which should come out this Friday so on August 12th thank you for watching <laughs>